Good day, Grade 11. Welcome to our second session in UCSP. This discussion will help you understand the concepts, aspects, and changes of cultures and society. It, is, it will also explain the importance of cultural relativism in attaining cultural understanding. You will be equipped with skills needed in the fast-changing world. The knowledge you will gain from this, mo this discussion will, will enhance your ideas upon relating to the changes of cultures and society. Thus, will help improve your in-depth understanding of cultural and social aspects on our very own life setting. Our objectives for this discussion, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to analyze the concept of culture and society and determine the aspects and changes of culture and society. Our topic today is analyze the concept, aspects, and changes of culture and society. So what is culture? Culture refers to a group or community which shares common experiences that shape the way its members understand the world. It includes groups that we are born into, such as race, national origin, gender, class, or religion. It can also include a group we join or become part of. Culture is a strong part of people's lives. It influences their views, values, humor, hopes, loyalties, worries, and fears. It helps to have some perspective and understanding of their cultures. Culture and society defined culture consists of the beliefs, behaviors, objects, and other characteristics common to the members of a particular group or society. Through culture, people and groups define themselves, conform to society's shared values, and contribute to society. The major elements of culture are symbols, language, norms, values, and artifacts. A symbol is anything that used to understand or to stand for something else. People who share a culture often attach an, uh, a specific meaning to an object, gestures, sound, or image. For example, a cross is a significant symbol of Christians. It is not simply two pieces of wood attached to each other, nor it, is it just an old object of torture and execution. To Christians, it represents the basis of their entire religion and they have great reverence for the symbol. Language is a system of words and symbols used to communicate with other people. This includes full languages as we usually think of them, such as English, Span Spanish, French, and etc. But it is also includes body language, slang, and common phrases that are unique to certain groups of people. Systems Systems of values are culturally defined standards for what is good or desirable. Members of the culture use the shared system of values to decide what is good and what is bad. According to Lanusa, M. Jerry, and Raimondo S. Sara, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics, page 151, published in the year 2016. So let us remember that cultural artifact or artifact is a term used in the social sciences, particularly anthropology, ethnology, and sociology for anything created by humans which gives information about culture of, of its creator and users. Artifacts are such valuable tools for exploring the past and using them to understand the past. Human values are essential in our life because they help us to grow and develop. 
it is a person's standards of behavior, principles in own judgment. Some of the values human treasures are honesty, love, happiness, and integrity. Social and cultural norms are rules or expectation of behavior and thoughts based on shared beliefs with a specific cultural or social group. Social change, variations of or modification in patterns of social organization of subgroups within society. Cultural change refers to all alterations affecting new traits or trait complexes and changes in culture's content and structure. Cultural relativism is the ability to understand a culture on its own terms and not to make judgment using the standards of one's own culture. The goal of this is to promote understanding of cultural practices that are not typically part of one's own culture. Cultural relativism is important to anthropology and one of the things that makes anthropology unique because it is a tool, a method, or for attempting to see things from multiplicity of viewpoints so as to better understand them. Cultural relativism does not mean that anything a culture does is good or moral. This is one of the ones that confuse people. Cultural relativism teaches us that marriage patterns are cultural options, not objective truth. The importance of understanding cultural relativism is to know one's own culture. Understanding this perspective of cultural relativism leads to the view that no culture is superior than another culture and the idea that culture can be comp compared to in terms of law, politics, and systems has no basis at all. The concept that a person's beliefs, values, and practices should be understood based on that person's own culture rather than to be judged against the criteria of another. Cultural relativism can be used to evaluate other cultures based on the ideas you believe in. An example of an example is a country who specializes dried fried crickets for food and you think it is weird because it is not usual in your culture. Cultural relativism is an an idea that cultures must be examined based on their own context and merits not to be seen as customs and codes of another culture. Cultural relativism is important in studying minority cultures, colonized cultures, and other tradition which belongs to another culture. Do you have any questions? Clarifications? For your activities and quizzes, you may visit our online site in Guide F to answer the following questions and activities. Thank you and have a good day. See you next time.